Hello friends, welcome to the world of mathematics. Meet Rita. It's her birthday today and she's having a party for her friends. Her best friend Sweetie brought her a special gift. After the party, Rita and Sweetie sat and opened the gift. It was a puzzle. They sat to put the pieces together. Here is the puzzle that they solved. As you see, the puzzle is in the shape of a circle. They then began searching for other things in Rita's room which had the shape of a circle. Can you identify them? You can pause the video to identify as many circular objects as possible. Some other objects of daily life which are circular include a tabletop, a CD, a tire, a giant wheel, a pizza and round spectacles. Since circles are such an important part of our daily life, let us study more about its properties in our chapter Circles. In the first place, let us see what is a circle. A circle is a mathematical figure made up of collection of points in a plane at a fixed distance from a fixed point. The characteristic point in the definition are the collection of points at a fixed distance from a fixed point in one plane. Now let us consider a circle with center O and a point R lying on the circle. Let us connect the points O and R. This line segment OR is called the radius of the circle. Hence, the line segment joining the center and any point on the circle is called the radius of the circle. A very good example of radii can be seen in this cross section of line. Knowing the radius R and the center of the circle O, we can name a circle as, which is read as a circle with center O and radius R. Hence, we have a circle with radii OC, OD, OR and OS. We see that OC and OD are linear, that is, they form a straight line passing through the center of the circle. This line segment CD is called the diameter of the circle. We define the diameter of a circle as the line segment running through the center of the circle whose end points lie on the circle. How many diameters do you think a circle will have? A circle can have many diameters. When we observe the spokes of a wheel, we see many line segments passing through the center with their end points lying on the wheel. Each of these represents a diameter.
What do we observe here? These are line segments with end points lying on the circle. But are these all diameters? No, not so. They may have end points lying on the circle, but they do not all pass through the center of the circle except for line segment DQ. The other line segments are called chords of a circle. We see that diameter is the longest chord of a circle. The diameter is also a chord which passes through the center of the circle. Consider a circle with center A having different chords as we can see here. Let us name these chords as CO, LM, DQ, PQ and FE where DQ is also a diameter of a circle. Some of the properties of diameter are It is the longest chord of the circle. It is twice the length of the radius. Also, all diameters of a circle are equal in length. In our everyday life, we use chords in many ways like in some of the sign boards as can be seen here. Till now, we have seen the radius which is a line segment from the center of the circle to any point on the circle. The diameter, which is a line segment passing through the center of the circle whose end points lie on the circle. The chord, which is a line segment whose end points lie on the circle. A circle can be divided into three regions with respect to the plane in which it lies. The region outside the circle is the exterior of the circle. The region within the circle is the interior of the circle. The third region is on the circle itself. Let us now locate the positions of some people on the plane with respect to these regions. We can say that Harry is in the interior of the circle. Ron is in the exterior of the circle. And Hermione is on the circle itself. Let us move on to more complex parts of a circle. Gracie broke her bangles the other day when she fell along with the box containing them in her room. She was trying to fix them together. Here is one of her bangles. We can see that one piece is bigger than the other. Let us consider that the bangle is a circle. Cut at two points P and Q. Here the bangle is the circumference or the boundary of the circle. The smaller piece forms the minor arc of the circle while the bigger piece forms the major arc. 
Here is another bangle of Gracie which broke. It has broken into two equal parts. The two arcs formed are thus equal. The two arcs are called semicircles. To name an arc, we need to add two more points on the circle. One on the minor arc and one on the major arc. Here, arc PRQ is the major arc and arc PSQ is the minor arc. Elsa and Hannah made a tasty pancake for tea. Hannah loves pancakes, so she took a larger part for herself in such a way that Elsa wouldn't know clearly. Elsa realized what Hannah did and was cross with Hannah. Hannah, how could you? Which parts of a circle do you see in the parts of the circular pancake? made by Hannah. There is a cord and the arc containing the interior of the circle. This is the segment of a circle. The segment can be defined as the interior region of a circle contained by an arc and the cord of a circle. The segment containing the major arc is called the major segment and the segment containing the minor arc is called the minor segment. If Hannah had divided the pancake equally, we would get two equal segments, also called semicircular segments. To name a segment, we need to begin with the cord, that is, in this case, the major segment is segment PRQ and the minor segment is segment PQS. The other day, Tom and Jerry invited Spike and Tyke to a pizza party. They divided the pizza into four equal parts. As soon as Tyke received his portion, he gobbled it up in two bites. Tom and Jerry were left gaping at him. Meanwhile, Spike ate the remaining three pieces and Tom and Jerry were left hungry. Let us look at the pizza as a circle with center A. This is Tyke's share of pizza, while the rest was eaten by Spike. Which parts of a circle do you see in Tyke's share of pizza? There is an arc and two radii containing some part of the interior region of the circle. This is called the sector of a circle. We can define the sector of a circle as the interior region of a circle contained by two radii and an arc. The sector containing the major arc is the major sector while the sector containing the minor arc is the minor sector. To name the sector of a circle, we need to begin from the center and go along the arc. That is major sector ABGC and minor sector a, B, F, C. What if the pizza was cut into two equal parts? There would be two equal sectors 
or two semicircular sectors formed. We can also say that a semicircular segment and a semicircular sector are the same and therefore can be called semicircular region. So today we have learned about the basic parts of a circle that is radius, diameter and chord. We also studied about a segment a sector and an arc of a circle. This video is created by Valini Rodriguez. Thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe to my channel and do not forget to like, share and comment on it.